Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to continue the series on developing an automated trading bot using Python and real-time streaming market data over WebSockets. Now the market is currently closed since I'm recording this video on Sunday evening, but I have the futures market open here and you see uh, that we're gonna start off with a pretty big down day. The Dow at least might open down a few hundred points uh, based on coronavirus fears, maybe some, some election fears and things like that. So when the market opens down and stocks begin downtrending, as they look like they're going to do tomorrow, the natural question you usually ask yourself is, when is that downward trend going to reverse? Or when is there going to be a bullish reversal where I can place a trade again that has a favorable risk reward setup? Well, there's a series of candlestick patterns that are used to describe uh, these types of bullish reversal patterns. One example, for instance, here is this three soldiers candlesticks pattern where a stock is downtrending then there's three bullish candlesticks in a row. So you could develop a trading strategy based on this type of bullish reversal pattern and detect three, these three uh, bullish candles here. And maybe you would place a bracket order once this third candle forms. You'd set your stop loss here below the uh, first candlestick. And then maybe you'd set your uh, profit taking price or your target equal to double uh, the length of this pattern. So you'd set uh, your price target up here. So to give you a more concrete example, I have the stock chart for Apple stock pulled up right here on tradingview.com. So I have a free account and it lets me chart a, a one minute chart of Apple stock and I did a candlestick chart. And you can see from Friday, February 21st, 2020, uh, Apple stock was downtrending. But if you zoom in at the end here, you see there's this little pop at the end. And so what we wanna do is figure out how we would make a program to detect uh, this pattern where the trend reversed slightly. So if I zoom in, I'll zoom in and you see there's those three green candlesticks there and you see the first candlestick uh, starts right here at 311.18 so I'll write that number down and then you see this third candlestick here ends at 311.83 so 311.83 and so let's say we wanted to detect this we could uh, detect we could aggregate our real-time data and we could build three candlesticks and if there are three bullish candlesticks um, we could get this last price and enter in a bracket order right here. And so since this difference here looks like it's uh, 65 cents, let's say we'd place an order, a market order at 311.83, and then we could set a profit taking price of 311.83 plus the 65 cents times two. So that'd be $1.30. So that'd be three, th we'd take, profits at 313 13 and then we'd uh, set a loss price at uh, this first opening candle so 311 18 18 so we have two times the upside of our downside so we could lose 65 cents or we can gain a dollar 30 so let's and so as we covered in our pack alpaca video we can place a bracket order so we place a bracket order at market on the third candlestick and then we profit 313.13 and we'll sell at a loss if it goes back to 311.18. So that's gonna be our strategy. So I'm actually gonna start coding this in the next video and since it's Sunday night, I'm gonna start coding this using uh, cryptocurrency data. So I'm gonna use Bitcoin data from the Coinbase Pro since they provide a WebSocket API. Uh, and I'm gonna shift this over to using stock equity data whenever the market opens tomorrow and continue recording the video. But I just wanted to get started tonight and actually show uh, some code working against real-time WebSockets. And it doesn't really matter uh, what we use, the WebSocket code is gonna be the same and there's still a stream of bid and ask prices coming in and we still need to write code to uh, build uh, these ca these minute by minute candlesticks or five minute candlesticks or whatever time frame we use uh, using these bid and ask prices. So I'm gonna get started with that part of it. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video and I'll show you how to uh, connect uh, Python code to WebSockets over Coinbase Pro and aggregate some candlestick data based upon that data. So thanks a lot and see you in the next video.